Now when it comes to creating a base calendar for the project, the purpose of that is to go ahead and include your company's working days, working times, and non-working times or days like weekends, holidays. In any case, to go ahead and create a base calendar for our project here, you want to come up here to the Project tab, go to the Properties group, and click on Change Working Time. There's the standard project calendar. And with that selected, you can come down here in the Preview window and select any days that are in white, like the 13th. You can see over in the legend that that's a working day. To see the times for that working day, you can see over here it's from 8 to noon with an hour lunch and then from 1 to 5. If you come over here and select a non-working day, you can see it's shaded in gray. The 10th, which is a Sunday, it says over here it's a non-working day. doesn't mean that you cannot assign uh, resources to work on that day, which we'll cover, of course, later training videos. It just means, hey, we're flagging you that you don't work these days. Now that's the standard project calendar. You can click on the drop-down arrow, and you've got two other choices. You have the 24 hours which you can see down below we have no non-working times the project is always running of course the people aren't because if you have somebody working 24 hours in a row at least for me I'd pass out in any case you may have crews that come in every 12 hours and you can see over here it goes from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. so you know the first part of the day you got one crew coming in and then the second part of the day or during the night you have the other crew so the project again is going 24 hours non-stop click on the drop down arrow you got the night shift and let's come over here and select a working day and you can see that the uh, time for the night shift is from 11 to 8 a.m. with an hour lunch from 3 to 4 a.m. now these times you can go ahead and change them and I'll show you how to do it in a later training video but for right now let's choose the standard that we want to base our calendar upon so let me click on the drop down arrow and choose the uh, standard project the daytime working during the days from 8 to 5 and you could say well how about if I just go ahead and choose this one and say OK well, that's okay if you just have one project, but if you've got uh, many projects with different times, different holidays, non-working times, the mess that you're going to be running into is that you'll be uh, updating the standard template for each project. So for the standard one, if you assign it to my Spiffy Software Training Manual, the project that we're working on, and you say, okay, well, the default times will be from 8 to 5, and then you create another project saying, okay, the default times will be from 7 to 4, you have to go ahead and update the standard template. And when you do that, it updates this, the standard template that's assigned to this project, so it's no longer from 8 to noon. You see the mess that you can run into? So instead, what I recommend that you do is you go ahead and you create a new calendar based upon this one, and you create a calendar for each new project based upon the standard one, or, you know, based upon the 24-hour night shift. I mean, you choose. Let me go ahead and choose standard. Come over here and click on Create New Calendar, and then it says, okay, go ahead and give it a name. And I'll pretty much name it the same name as the project that I'm working on. Like this one will be my Spiffy calendar for my Spiffy software training manual. And then it says, what do you want to make a copy of that you can tinker with later on, which I'll show you how to do. It's going to be the standard, 24 hours of the night shift. It's going to be the standard. Whoops, now I selected standard. It updated it here. I'll go ahead and leave it as copy of standard. And the reason why is because if I click OK and I go, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Now I've got this uh, copy of standard. I meant to uh, change that. Well, if you made a mistake here and you want to delete the calendar, which I'll show you in a later training video, but hey, you don't want to wait till that time to figure out if you made a mistake now how to fix that, right? So what you can do is click off, click close, come up here, click on the file tab, the info selected by default, come down here and click on organizer because you want to organize your calendars. And over here in the current uh, project that we have open, the software training manual, there's the copy of the standard. Go ahead and select it, delete it, say yes, close out. Click on the File tab again, so it takes us back to the uh, place where we last left, which was on the Project tab. Again, Properties Group, click on Change Working Time. Click on Create New. Base it upon the standard. Let's give it our, give it our spiffy name. Click OK, and there you go. So we've got um, four calendars now. We have our standard templates, then we have the one that we want to use for this project or apply to this project with all the changes or the variations off of the standard if we need to have any made. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.